Hey guys, Easy Tech over here. This week I want to show you how to make a function on your Inspire and later on read it on your library. Let's get to it. Oh sweet sweet Inspire. With your new shiny models and their bright colors. It's so fun to play Pokemon in the math classes, right? Well, this calculator can do a lot better. In the beginning, I wanted to create a function. And I said... Let it be a new document. And there it was, a new document. Jokes aside, to create a new function, we need to add an application note. Then we need to create a program editor, then go to doc, insert and program editor. A new one, of course, and we want to name our function. In this case, I want to calculate the area of the circle, so I'll type area circle. The type will be a function. The library access, we want it public, so we can access in any document and the scratch pad. We are left with the program editor and notes. To delete notes, so we have the full screen, we go to doc and page layout and then delete application. In this, we'll need deep knowledge of programming. No, I'm just kidding. We need uh, simple math and simple programming. Here we need the input for our function, in this case the radius r. To calculate, just go pi r squared. Now we need to return this value, so we need to add return. Here we go to menu and then go to transfers and finally return. Now we need to check syntax and store, here in menu just select it and then we are stored successfully. Then just save the document, go to file, save and then to the folder mylib. This is important because we need the access in the libraries through the mylib folder. Name the document anything and save it. Now head to the scratch pad and to the libraries in this button. Here we have the native functions of the Inspire. Also, in the sixth tab, we have our functions in the documents. However, if we head to this tab, we don't have the circle document. This is because we haven't refreshed the libraries. Then head back to the scratch pad and go to doc and just refresh libraries. Now head back to the libraries and there we have it, circle and the function area circle. Here we are going to add something stupid like every freaking math problem in 50 cars. Okay, 50. And we are left with the result. 2500 times pi as the area of the circle. This is how you create a simple function on Inspire. From this you can create any simple function. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them on the comment section and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and to stay updated, please subscribe. See you next week. <laughs>